Okay, mounting the circuit boards for the uh, uh, battery conversion and FM stereo modulator kit. Uh, <clears throat> I'm putting in a couple of pieces, actually four uh, pieces of double stick tape. Uh, you just remove the double stick and there's a notch you see on here that will go around this particular screw hole and then the other one just butts up against it to let the screw come through. And then there's uh, two pieces for the transmitter side and two pieces for the preamp, which I already have the preamp on top. There's the, the uh, uh, double stick tape, one little short screw which I give you, and then, there's a, whoops, and then there's a nut on the other side, which is right, right there. There's a nut. You can see where it is in relationship to the uh, uh, damper or the uh, dash pot. Don't over tighten these screws on either side, either the transmitter one or this one. Just just snug them. Just that's all you needed to do was just snug them up. And the transmitter, I'm gonna send these pre-wired like this so that the only wire connection you're gonna to have to make is the power connections. Then you put this in here the same way with a screw. The screw is gonna go through the existing hole in the board. I can do this existing hole right there. It's going to go through that hole and it's going to go through the hole, sit down on top of the uh, of the double stick tape. And double stick tape is there to keep it from shorting out. And that's going to go down onto there like that. Just like that. Center it and then put the nut on the other side of that screw and again just just snug it up. Don't over tighten it or you'll flex the board and you'll crack it and then that's the end of it. After you're all done with that then there's three power line sets the red and blacks one for the transmitter, one for the preamp and one for the motor. They all go in parallel so that all three reds are together, all three blacks are together and then, then you run a wire from there over to your switch. There's no switch on here. I can't show it to you because this doesn't have a switch. It's gone, so I can't show it to you. And the switch will just interrupt the positive side of the battery snap here so that the black wire from the battery snap will join all the other blacks over here and the red wire will be interrupted by the switch and then another red wire from the other side of the switch comes out of there and joins the other red wire so everything gets turned on and off by the switch. That's really all there is to it. And of course you have your speed control here on the motor. Uh, the motor has its own regulator, so that does not need a regulator. And uh, that's all there is. This is loose and floppy like this because I don't have the thing socked up. It's not ready to do that with us yet. So anyway, that's the, uh, the whole FM stereo kit. The only thing that's not on here now, I haven't soldered the antenna wire onto this little tab right here. Uh, I'm, I'm not doing that yet, just, just to keep it out of the way. And when you put these, uh, when you put all these wires together, make sure they're out of the way of the mechanics of the turntable, and it's pretty easy to do. That's why I put it through the hole here. Kind of gives it a standoff and keep it away from that star wheel. And uh, but I've done quite a few of these, and nothing gets in the way. Oh, your tone arm wires. The you wire it for stereo, and all of these have a three wire uh, wire in them, black, white, and red. Uh, you'll use the black for ground, and then red and white for the left and right output of the cartridge coming out of this hole. If the arm was here, they'd be coming out of the bottom hole here and attach over to here. The uh, signal wires, the red and white, will go to the one to this resistor, one to that resistor, the little hook there, and the black ground wire will go to this little hook right there. And that will hook the arm up to the uh, system. The adjustment pots, don't usually have to adjust these. I pre-adjust them before I ship them. But they just affect the amount of volume going into the transmitter. Too high and it'll get distorted, so you don't really have to worry about that. And that's it.